hello friends welcome to the channel once again today we do have the cross core device which is the core m4 on the factory reset protection right over here so and this is where i'm going to show you how to remove the factory reset protection on your cross core m4 device right over here so first connect to the wi-fi network and and wait for the check for update to start and move back to the um, startup screen so collect the back key and then get back to the startup screen so from the startup screen we will go in for the emergency double tap on emergency info now click on the pencil and also make sure sim card is inserted into the phone and then click on add contact so now let's go to the contact and add any contact and now click on the contact hit on the three dots go in for share so when the share appear hit on message and now let's compose a new message so when the message shows up dial 911 as the receiver number and now click yes and wait for the message box and delete the contact number from the message box and now type in www.youtube.com slash growboy so let's type it in so if you already activated the device before watching the video you may definitely be prompt to update your youtube app so make sure to factory reset the device and follow the steps that i'm doing so make sure to factory reset your device now so now after typing in the youtube click on it and it will take it to youtube and then directly take you into your chrome browser okay so if youtube require update make sure to factory reset your device and begin the procedure once again so now in our browser click continue or accept the terms and now click on no thanks and so when the browser opens here on the recent tab and add a tab to your browser now let's type in or search for frp file bypass so let's search for frp file bypass which is being suggested in the suggest list click on it and we're on the first website click on it and wait for it to load so when it load we are going to download three files i did download three files but you can download only two so which you ignore the quick shortcut maker which is not necessary needed so let's wait for the file to finish uh, the website to finish loading and now let's download the files we are going to use to remove the google account on our device so first we will download the google account manager which is the 8 9 and 10 and click allow permission and now wait for it to to download accept all the permission and make sure I click ok to start downloading the app so now it's done downloading so let's go in and download the second the second okay so we do have download so now let's move and download the second app which is the rfrp file the bypass rfrp so click on the quick shortcut which is i said which i said it's not necessary needed to be downloaded so now we have all the files downloaded so go into download and now we have all downloads files right over here so let's install the google account manager first allow unknown source so now I click and install the app wait for the app to install when it's finished installing click on done and let's hit on done and install the frp bypass install it and now wait for it to finish installing and after installing hit on open let's open it and now hit on the three dots and now browser sign in so click ok and now let's sign in into our google account so if you do not have or forgotten your previous google account you can create a new google account then come in here and sign in so i'll put in my address now click next and it will require you to provide your password as well so i'll put input the password 
okay so the password also done so click next add a keyboard and click next and wait for it to sign up so when it the moment it finished signing up you will be throw back into the download so now that's it let's install the quick shortcut which is not necessary needed so you can even move further or skip this part so let's wait for it to install done so open so as i said there is no need to open quick shortcut you can just reboot your device and wait for it to turn on then after that you can proceed further so here just to show you i did something which did not work so there's no need for you to do so here on try if i hit on try for us to be uh, to get a device activated it will throw us back so there's no need for you to use the quick shortcut so now as you did see this message so you have to reboot the device so now let's reboot our device so now let's reboot our device so i'll be fast forwarding this part and if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe to my channel give a like if this video helped you out so here we have our device on the hello screen or the startup screen so if you the lock symbol on the top left corner is not showing anymore so i click on start and let's proceed so checking for update and you'll be prompt your account is being added to the device so, so let's wait for it okay so here is it account added so you did see our account has been added to the phone successfully so let's click next and i'll be fast forwarding the setup oh uh, okay let's go through the setup let's go through the setup google service click on more 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 then accept to proceed and now you will be prompt to set up a security pin so from here you can choose to set a security pin or skip it so i'll be skipping it and proceed so you have you will be prompt to set up your google assistant so for that step also you can skip that step also okay so here's the last step click on no thanks and that's it our device will unlock and now you are on the home screen of our device so the device if you do reboot your device you will not get st stuck onto the startup screen or the hello screen so that's it thanks for watching the video please make sure to subscribe to the channel the name is guru thanks for watching peace